Hi, I'm Ray and welcome to Gardening Online and this channel is all about growing your own fruit and vegetables along with some flowers and some DIY projects but today we're down the allotment and we're having a look at the pond I installed this pond a couple of weeks ago and I had a video of how I installed the pond on my allotment plot so we're hoping to encourage the frogs to come to the allotment so we've gone today and we've collected up some plants and also some frog spawn that we can add to the pond so let me show you what we're going to do so one thing i do like doing on my allotment is doing things on the cheap and free cycle and marketplace are good places to visit to get things on the cheap but today we went and got some plants for the pond and these were on free cycle and we collected these for doing our social distancing leaving the item on the front of the garden so we was able to come along and just collect them so what we've got here is a pond weed and it's looking great and they've also left them in the, in, the, in the tray so this is good and then the instructions I've been told is they do grow a bit of a fog and every year just to pull out these pot and cut down all the weeds and this is what he's done all the roots and then he reads that are on the side so that's maintained quite a nice little pot so we're really pleased with this and we're going to add this into our pond so as our pond has got two lower levels a deep one and a slightly higher one I'm just going to put this reed into the pond and look at that and it's just going to sink there and it can live there quite happy I'm really pleased with that I'm really pleased so while we was out we also got asked if we wanted any frog spawn and that would be perfect for my little pond and so I picked up this little old jug of frog spawn I'm not sure if we can see it in here and let's have a look I'll give you a closer look so this is what he's given us this container of frog spawn and I really don't know too much about it but I do know that if frogs are grown in your pond then they do return to the pond every year so that is really useful and also having a pond on the allotment and the frogs will eat all the bugs and all the slugs and that will be perfect solution but look at that it's a really really odd substance like a jelly kind of like but we're going to add this into our pond and we're going to watch and see if we get any frogs from our spawn that's really really interesting it's just fascinating seeing all those blobs absolutely fascinating well, we're going to add this into our pond container and this is where we're going to add it and I feel that I should add it around the reed that we placed so I'm just going to add it into the pool I'm just going to put it around the reed some inside and then we can see look 
the jelly-like substance the spawn is. There, one blob. And I'm going to add the next. So another item we picked up is this Crocosmia Lucifer and it's a deciduous perennial with sword shaped leaves and they create flowers of up to 1.2 meters in height and bright red flowers so we're really looking forward to growing this and we're going to add this to the side of the pond the light is just fading, so we want to get it in soon. So we've got quite a big clump, and this will be great, just right next to the pond. So I'm just going to go and dig a hole, and we'll put this in next to the pond. And that will look fine, that will look wonderful. Lovely bit of colour when it grows. So, before the light gets too dark, I'm just going to park this in here. And I think it's an ideal place for it to set, and it'd be nice right next to the pond. I'm just digging a small hole, it doesn't need to be that deep. And this is our plant. It's got quite a good root structure. Thank you for watching. It's lovely to come out in the evenings as we've not been able to do that during the winter. But it's lovely to hear the birds sing. The sun light the sun set and get a few jobs done while we're here. So thank you very much. If you're new to my channel then please subscribe and ring that bell. Get notifications when I post some more. And let's watch these frogs grow. It's going to be really fascinating. And I'm really, really pleased. Really pleased. So, can't wait to check those every visit that I come down now. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>